Sacramento State's innovative leadership fosters peaceful resolution to campus demonstration. Sacramento, California, Sacramento State University President Luke Wadork has traded a peaceful conclusion to a campus protest regarding the Israel-Hamas conflict, mirroring similar demonstrations nationwide at universities. Sacramento State's protest camp dispersed not through force, but through constructive dialogue. We commend Luke Wood for diverging from other administrations by refraining from involving Sacramento police, expressed a student during a Wednesday press briefing. What many students truly seek is to adopt a principled stance on global events, Wood shared with CBS News. At 42, Wood, advocating for empathetic leadership, draws from a challenging upbringing in foster care, enduring hunger, homelessness, and ultimately earning degrees from the institution he now guides. Michael Cohen to testify in Trump hush money trial on Monday Former attorney to Donald Trump, Michael Cohen, is slated to testify on Monday, shedding light on his involvement in negotiating the hush money payment to Stormy Daniels on Trump's behalf. Cohen is expected to detail how he received reimbursement through retainer payments in 2017, central to the charges against Trump. However, Cohen's credibility is under scrutiny due to his own federal charges for campaign finance violations, tax crimes, and perjury. Transitioning from a loyal Trump defender to a key antagonist, his evolving narrative poses a challenge for Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's case. Trump's attorney, Todd Blanche, urged restraint from Cohen regarding trial and Trump-related discussions, highlighting the gag order in place. Despite restrictions on Trump, Cohen's ability to critique remains contentious. Assistant District Attorney Joshua Steinglass reiterated prosecutors' directives for all witnesses, including Cohen, to refrain from public commentary on the case. Protesters attempt to breach Tesla's German factory. Approximately 800 demonstrators congregated outside Tesla's factory near Berlin on Friday, protesting against the company's expansion plans. Tensions escalated as some clashed with law enforcement while trying to penetrate the premises, disrupt, a coalition of self-proclaimed anti-capitalist factions orchestrating the protest, disclosed on its website, 800 activists are currently present at the Tesla Gigafactory site as part of the Disrupt Tesla Action Days. According to a police statement released on Friday, individuals from the preceding protest march rushed through the forest towards the Tesla company grounds. Due to their proximity to the Deutsche Bahn railway tracks and partial encroachment, rail operations between Erkner and Forstenwalde had to be momentarily halted. Law enforcement authorities confirmed their intervention to prevent the group from accessing the Tesla facilities. Florida Sheriff shares body cam footage of fatal shooting involving black airmen. In response to public outcry and family assertions, Okaloosa County Sheriff Eric Hayden released body cam footage capturing the incident where a black airman was fatally shot in his home. The footage aims to counter claims that the deputy mistakenly entered the wrong apartment. During a Thursday press briefing, Sheriff Aiden aired the video, following a demand from the family's attorney, who asserted that the victim's girlfriend, engaged in a FaceTime call, believed the deputy had entered the incorrect unit. Identified by his family as Roger Fortson, a 23-year-old active-duty senior airman, the victim was described by attorney Ben Crump as a patriot who held authority in high regard and aspired to provide a home for his mother and younger siblings. Sheriff Aiden, after meeting with Fortson's family prior to the press conference, confirmed that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement Division has been tasked with conducting the requisite criminal investigation. Pending the investigation's outcome, he emphasized that no conclusions have been drawn regarding the justification of the deputy's actions, who has been put on administrative leave. Justice Clarence Thomas challenges Washington culture, denounces critics' hostility, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas addressed his detractors at a judicial conference in Alabama on Friday, condemning what he termed the nastiness and falsehoods directed towards him while labeling Washington as a dismal environment. Asked about the courage required for his judicial approach, Thomas humbly deferred, highlighting the bravery of service members, firefighters, and bomb disposal experts. He emphasized his duty as simply fulfilling his role. In Washington, one must acclimate to individuals who are particularly reckless, remarked Thomas, the court's longest-serving associate justice and a conservative voice. They may not physically harm you, but they can inflict damage on your reputation, integrity, or dignity, and though not a crime, the repercussions are significant. Addressing the 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals Conference in Point Clear, Alabama, Thomas asserted that it would be a disservice to those in uniform not to exercise his judicial responsibilities with diligence, given the weight of his lifetime appointment.